we're getting really tired of you guys all asking us which of these two sleds is faster. You want to know of the new turbos, which is the fastest. Skidoo has their 900 Ace Turbo R and yep. you know the Genesis Turbo that's been around for a while. And you guys won't stop talking about which one's faster. I don't really mind. I mean, I wonder too. So it's 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 okay. Uh, and I know first question, let's just get it out of the way. We don't have an SRX and we don't have a Moxie. Um, Moxie, because it was limited build, we had one at the end of last year, but we don't have one this year. They sold out of them in like 13 seconds. Yeah. So uh, we don't have those on the ground, but these two are very similar. Now I know some of you guys online um, who have nothing better to do are going to find differences between these two snowmobiles. But all in all, we got the same track length. We do have electric shocks on both, similar, uh, you know, similar spec packages on both of these sleds. We also have a draggy, so we're not just gonna do a side by each and say, oh, this one's faster, that one's faster, and then somebody can say, well, the peak on his helmet's bigger than the peak on his. <laughs> I did have a six inch sub and a cookie this morning for, for yeah. lunch, so. I went to Tim Hortons. So oh, well then we're, even. Yeah, we're, we're even. even. We're even, we're um, even. So we will use actual hard data from the draggy. Uh, that's what we're gonna base this off of. We're gonna switch riders, so it doesn't <laughs> yeah. really matter who's on what. Um, We've done this in the past. We realized that one person can't drive one sled, the other person <laughs> drives the other sled. So we will switch back and forth for yep. all of the data runs. Yep. There's no big guy versus little guy. Um, and there's also, just so we can get rid of the comments down below, even though you're still gonna say it. Yes, we could tune these snowmobiles. Yes, we could put thousands of dollars into tuning into these snowmobiles. And yes, we could put thousands of dollars worth of studs on these snowmobiles, but that would be completely subjective to what we do to each sled. Therefore, testing them in their bone stock state is really the best way to do this. I know takeoff isn't gonna be the same. Acceleration is gonna be different. We get all of these things, but if you really wanna shoot out two sleds that are identical, we either have to go through and do, well, you can't, you can't tune them identically. This is the only way to make it fair. This, this is, is the way how they it. come from the factory. Yes. This is how we test them. What you guys do in your spare time modifying, that's your business. You can get 230 horsepower of each of these if you choose to, but this is what matters most, not what you can do, what they will do. Yeah, let's get this done. Let's get out on the snow. This is a YouTube exclusive. Let's get out and do this. Let's go. So maybe I didn't go far enough on that last one. It's still saying 93 miles an hour. Green, just under 170. Okay, let me switch and try this. Uh, so I'm just switching over. I got the draggy numbers for <coughs> the uh, Renegade. And now I'm just gonna try it on the Thundercat just to see because if GPS numbers are correct, <laughs> The, speed, the speedo on the skidoo is quite a little optimistic. <laughs> uh, and I mean, GPS is GPS. This says it's verified. Like, so I'll be interested to see what the Arctic Cat says because, yeah, these speedos may not be reading exact. This does 99, that does 93. What did it do in half? 98.69. Yeah. This is definitely a faster snowmobile. Yeah. You want to switch up and give me the draggy? Yeah, we can. All right. That's yeah. a, that's a, well, we'll see what happens, but. I'm going to run the scooter first. Yeah, there's right away a significant difference, and we will have to look in to see if there's a significant difference in gearing between these two sleds, but the lug of the track and the length of the track are telling me that there probably isn't too much of a difference there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty big change. 93 miles an hour on the Skidoo, 99 miles an hour on the Arctic Cat.
tell you one thing for sure. This feels faster, and it's because there's no windshield. Yeah. See, the, I, I think this one feels faster seeing the pants, but we just said the opposite right there. It also, to me, this, the front end of this feels light. It does look really that light. That one feels like the nose is down. Mm -hmm. So, 96 is what yours said. So you got three miles an hour more than I did. So maybe sitting down like that saves a bunch. I wonder if the difference will be on the T on the T Cat though, because it's got a windshield. Yeah. It might also just be a better driver. I don't think that changes speed in at a all. straight line. You squeeze the <laughs> throttle harder. <Yes. laughs> okay, let's do the T Cat then. And that's just getting happy after it sat for a little bit. Well, it should be faster when it's hotter. Turbo sleds will kind of like end up heat, heat soak in the intercooler. We're only doing but one pass at a time. It's minus three, and yeah. the intercooler is getting fresh air. Okay, so you got 96. Shit out good miles an hour out of that one. What we've come to conclusion here is you're much better to eat at Subway than to Morton's in the morning. Well, it might, it might be so. Red 170 that time. I didn't go quarter mile or whatever because uh, I hit a huge patch of ice when I took off and it just spun forever. So it was gonna be really slow. 100 mile an hour. So I picked up one. So in the half, in the half it registered. Okay. So you're still picking up speed after the half mile. Yeah, yeah. This thing, seems, legs, this thing seems to not be picking up speed after the half mile. So if I had a hell of a longer, you think it would go faster? It may go faster. Well, let's try to get them in. This thing's getting faster. I just saw 174. Really? Yeah. <laughs> is it going through a break-in? <laughs> it's just getting faster, and faster. It's got a thousand miles on it already. Oh, really? Hundred. That's all. Yep. So the speedo is reading 174. So what we can assume is that the speedo is well 100.07. So yeah, it's 100. the slightest bit faster. One hundred and two. What? What? Yeah. All right. You need to get on that and do a okay, couple passes yeah. on the T cat then. Maybe it wasn't fast. <laughs> it, it looked like it from our perspective too, though. One hundred and two. <laughs> They're tied. Literally 23.09 seconds. That's like almost the exact second and a half mile. 102 miles an hour from both of them. I'll give this one another run. <clears throat> I will. Let's I was wondering if, if some, another part of why they're getting faster is maybe that track's getting packed out more. It could be, yeah. I just let AJ do all the fun work and then I sit here and chat with Tanner. <laughs> it's a tough life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What did we learn? Well, I think definitively these two snowmobiles are very close, but the king of the castle with the claim 200 horsepower, I think we can fairly it's say, still based just, off GPS, is still just a little bit faster. We got 102 out of the Skidoo and 105 out of the Arctic Cat. They both continued to get faster throughout the day as we tested. Until and I, a point. And, well, until a point, and then the Arctic Cat was faster. It yeah. just ended up that we can't get any more out of either. This one's three miles an hour faster. And I think it's valid, like you said, because we used the draggy, is GPS verified. It's not just seat of the pants. It's certainly not the Speedos that we're, we're gonna listen to. <laughs> no, they both, both read over 180. <laughs> both Speedos, <laughs> and it's not track spin. Like no. we, are, we are getting good compacted snow out here. They're just not reading accurately. No. They're, they're trying just... to make you feel good. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, a little, they're a little faster than they are. And it's funny because talking with uh, another fellow who was out here with us today, Tanner, he was saying, why don't they use GPS speedos like they do on the sea dews which you know i'd never really thought about i mean i know we're in trees a lot so maybe it's tree coverage it's a little bit of that but there's got to be a way to integrate a gps into the speedo and help. polaris it. uses gps in their gauges 
and it works in the tree cover. Yeah. Polaris doesn't use GPS for their Speedo, and I no. think it's because it's too honest. <laughs> but I mean, I mean you're, you're absolutely right. If, if they just all agreed, okay, we're going to start making Speedos that work right, yeah. then people aren't going to be coming back and arguing day and night that their sled does 112 miles an hour. Now, maybe with studs on a perfectly prepared ice track, this thing could go 110. Maybe it could. But is it going to go 121 like some people claim their T-Cats go? Not this I, one. Not stock. No. And these are both broken. We have we have good break-in on both of these. They're um, both completely stock. Yeah, we totally know you stock. guys are always, well, tune one, tune the tune the Skidoo will go faster than the Articat. Tune the Articat will go faster than the Skidoo. It's equal, okay? There's no there's no and tuning we, gonna make this and more. We fair. wanted to do stock to stock just because that's what we have. This is this is as close as you can get. And we don't own these sleds, so we're not putting studs in the track. So we just we can't do that because sometimes manufacturers ask us not to. So uh, this has a pre-studded track. This does not. We're on um, snow. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a huge deal at this kind of speed. Out of the hole, it would be top speed. It's not going to be. So, I think we've definitively determined that the Arctic Cat with the turbo is still a little bit faster. The Skidoo is very admirable at 102, and truthfully, at 102 miles an hour to 105, it's going to be the temperature on the day, the track path you're in. Oh, the track um, path you're in is going to be. The it's going to be one. huge. Yeah, you're. Yeah. you're Lane choice is everything. It's not a huge difference, but if you race into the end of the lake, the Arctic Cat's going to get there first. That's, and I think the other thing we discovered that might be even more important is if you're going to drag race these on the lake, the Arctic Cat gets there faster. It does. It takes so you're going to jump out ahead, and even if they were evenly matched, you're still going to end the lake ahead. Yeah. So, you know, if you're going to do a drag race, basically the moral of the story here is do a roll on. Don't go from a dead stop because yeah. that'll get there faster. Yeah. But I, I think that's, I'm actually really pleased with this because I thought that the Skidoo seat to the pants feel, I felt like it was a little bit like, you know, I thought it was going to be significantly slower than the Arctic Cat. I always felt that this was a faster sled, the Yamaha or the Arctic Cat, uh, which isn't really the case. It's not all that much faster. I mean, three miles an hour is not a big deal. So we're not talking like 100 to 110. It's, it's very small, yeah. almost insignificant, but we can still say that this is a faster sled.